Hi, I'm Rich Angstad with Angstad Arms. We're here at SHOT Show 2019, and I'm going to give you a little bit of backstory on this gun right here, which is the SCW-9 submachine gun. Uh, this gun was born out of the U.S. Army's subcompact weapon trials. Uh, a few months ago, they posted um, criteria for a new submachine gun, and originally it was posted, 13 companies were chosen, requirements were not as defined. Army came back, rescinded everything that was awarded, and really buckled down to what did they want in the gun. And what they wanted was something very, very small. So under 15 inches collapsed, could not have a folding stock, had to be telescoping, had to be fully ambidextrous. And at the time, the original gun we submit did not meet those requirements. So we spent the next 30 to 45 days redesigning the system to meet all those requirements. So what we ended up with is obviously a fully ambidextrous lower receiver with controls on the left and right side of it. Uh, telescoping buttstocks that is only two and a half inches when fully collapsed and that gave us an overall length of 14.7 inches and only four pounds. Uh, the gun itself in fully automatic fires about 1100 rounds per minute so it's very fast but also very controllable. You're able to get three and four round strings off pretty consistently. Um, so the Army is currently evaluating this along with five other companies uh, that were, were uh, down selected for the award. We're waiting feedback, probably about two more months. We should have more information on what direction they're gonna choose. Um, this has now evolved into the commercial market, and we're gonna be releasing a variation very shortly. Um, the SCW-9 civilian version. Currently, this is an SBR, but we are pending approval on a pistol brace version, which would make this uh, able to purchase just like any nine millimeter handgun. And so the stock system internals have remained unchanged from what we delivered to the U.S. Army, but exterior-wise, it's very different. It's a little bit sleeker. Uh, we went with a single rail system that just rips open with the bar on the left side of the receiver. And the reason for doing that is twofold. Once, the first is that it gives you plenty of clearance for the safety selector. So unlike other PDW stocks that are along the lower receiver, it really impedes your thumb from uh, working the safety selector. And then two, this cleared up the right side. So if you run a 5.56, 300 blackout, 7.62 with a forward assist, it's not gonna interfere with that. So this is a, a pure multi-caliber stock. Um, you can drop it on any existing AR-15, swap the bolt carrier, the buffer system, and the stock, and you're ready to run. About five to 10 minute, very simple install. So you can stay up to date on the latest information from the Army Subcompact Weapon Program, either through the Army site directly, FedBizOps, or our website, angstatarms.com, or on Instagram at Instagram slash angstatarms. Uh, if you're here at SHOT Show, we'd love to see you. Come on down. We're in booth 7013, and we'll give you hands-on with uh, the little SCW9.